so coming to the 10th chapter that is called plcp sub layer okay so plcp sub layer uh, you know that how it looks right okay so here you can see that psdu is there okay so plc plcp sub layer will sit there in phi okay so you can if see you look at this uh, diagram may they have clearly explained about i iso osi uh, seven layer model right, right. so uh, mm, that uh, first uh, the bottom layer is physical layer and above that data link layer in that data link layer only we have divided it into two parts uh, first one is logical link layer control that is sip, uh, sitting on top of this mac right. okay now we are concentrating on this mac right, right. now uh, in this chapter we are going to see about five layer convergence protocol right okay. layer so, so if you look at uh, in this diagram they have shown some uh, phi saps and max app right those are all indicating uh, service access points okay through that only the communication between those two layers will happen and the msdu and psdu two data units okay so max sub layer data unit and phi sub layer data unit right and then look at there in the in the other side that will corresponds to ppdu and mpdu you know that one uh, communication between two max will happen yeah. with the help of mpdu and communication between the two five will happen with the help of ppdu yeah that is five protocol data unit and mac protocol data unit okay so okay. we are going to discuss something about plcp this in the bottom they have uh, clearly shown the uh, very high abstract level of that packet first preamble will come next plcp header next psdu okay and look at that uh, the data rate PLCP header always should be transmitted at 39.4 megabits per second. Okay, but in the case of PSDU, we have uh, optional uh, bit, uh, bit rates, right? And if you go, uh, if you see above this uh, table, above this packet format, we have uh, they have explained the individual things. I mean, uh, PLCP header inside that PLCP header, what all the things will be there? Look at there, phi header, tail bits. MAC header, HCS. HCS is a header check sequence for both the phi header and MAC header. Okay. And then tail bits, again parity bits after the tail bits. So we know that uh, the use of the tail bits is to, it's somewhat related to that uh, convolution encoder which is performed in the phi side, right? So this is all about PLCP header. Okay. Next come to uh, this uh, PSDU, uh, phi layer uh, service data unit. In there, what all the things are there? Frame payload. Okay. So in that frame payload, the maximum length is 4K. Okay. And then FCS, then tail bits and pad bits. So the PSDU is made up of these three fields. Okay. The again, if you go on, uh, in that, uh, yeah, again, if you go uh, to the top there, they have explained the various fields of phi header. Look at there in that phi header only we have rate, and the length of so if you see that uh, phi header so already uh, in phi header is five octet okay so different fields are available in the phi, uh, phi header one is first uh, top three bits are reserved okay next five uh, bits are rate rate means at uh, what data rate you are want to transmit your data on the phi so we know the uh, we know that there are different data rates so we can do that length length is the length of the frame payload okay we know that uh, this is a variable field so based on the configuration okay somebody will come and write inside this register and based on that mac will prepare the data and it will send 4096 octets so uh, it is variable so it, it you can send zero bytes and maximum of 4095 bytes okay rest two bits are reserved and uh, if you go to next to bit data scrambler so scrambler is a module that is available in the phi okay so when we are asserting this uh, bit means uh, your data is going to be scrambled okay next two bits are reserved okay then uh, next is a uh, burst mode we already know if we want to configure our phi in burst mode means have you busty traffic is there then we have to assert this bit okay and uh, either it will be work in normal mode then we are having preamble type okay what type of preamble burst uh, standard uh, preamble or what type of preamble we are going to transmit then we are having a tfc frequency codes okay that also we need to group uh, configure then we are having band groups right we know that uh, how many band groups are there and at last uh, uh,